years and for only the 17th time in U.S. history. The federal government of the United States has been shut down due to an impasse between the Congress and the executive branch over spending. Locally, the impact to Montgomery County is estimated to be a $760,000 loss in revenue for each day that the government is shut down. Now, the drama of the government shutdown is so enormous and gripping that there are minute-by-minute -minute news updates chronicling even the most minute information that is designed to send a signal one way or another to the other side. Senator Rubin, doesn't the suggestion that the cause of the impasse between the House of Representative Republicans on one side and Senate Democrats in the White House on the other is solely ob over Obamacare, doesn't that just understate the whole problem that the government is facing today? Absolutely not. They're holding the employees of the federal government hostage. And I believe it's the Republicans' fault. And I would like to know your stand on it, because anybody that agrees with holding Obamacare hostage, and the, I'm sorry, the employees of the government hostage, and people without pay right now is inexcusable. I don't care who talks about it. Well, Senator, Senator Rubin, I mean, from your experience in the, in, the, in the legislature, aren't there times when there's a divide between what the executive wants to spend and what the legislature wants, wants to authorize? And it's no different in the United States Congress. Our job, our first job, is to pass a budget. We were told that. And you had to vote for the budget, one way or the other. You had to pass a well, budget. But ultimately, the House of Representatives backs down, and Obama wins. Why is it going to be any different? Um, well, here's where I agree, disagree with uh, Ida. Um, I don't think anybody's covered in glory with this thing. Um, I think that it's both sides are going to look terrible. But President Obama is the person whose name is going to be on this particular four-year period, and he is the one that they're going to remember. Um, there doesn't seem to be much compromise going on on either side. The people that I talk to are pretty disgusted with both sides and are talking about throwing out both sides. Um, the Congress doesn't seem to be functioning, and that doesn't just mean that the Republicans aren't functioning. The Democrats aren't functioning either, because if you have... Because you know they won't go along with... The Killing Obamacare? Because you don't set hard and fast rules about what you'll agree to and not agree to. No, they...